The purpose of this module is to talk about the project description. The project description is a brief paragraph that explains what you are inventing. Communicating about your invention is important both within your team and also externally to people outside of your team. The project description ensures that your team is on the same page while making progress on the invention. It defines the goals towards which your team is inventing. As you discover and learn through the building and testing of prototypes, the project description can be adjusted in order to more accurately reflect the desired end goals. In part one, I'll start with an illustration to help you think about your invention journey. While you should have a plan when you begin, you should also be prepared to change your plans as you discover more about your invention. Then, I'll define the project description and provide an example. In part two, I'll talk about how the project description can be used as the beginning of an elevator pitch. An elevator pitch is a prepared statement that a team member internalizes and memorizes. This way, when an unexpected opportunity arises for a team member to share about his invention, he has a basis for a natural conversation with the other person. Then I'll talk about product specifications. A specification is a quantitative measure of function of an invention. The product specifications are the most important specifications that make the invention useful to the intended beneficiaries and unique compared to existing solutions. Imagine that your invention journey is like the exploration of a foreign land. This land is new and unfamiliar. You start at point A and initially set your sights on point B as your destination. You have a map, but it is outdated, so you initially plot out some potential paths. As you go along, however, you encounter roadblocks, forcing you to change course. Also, you discover that things have changed since the map was made and end up changing the destination multiple times. Eventually, after the long and difficult travel, you reach your destination, point D having aimed for points B and C as the destination along the way. You look back at your journey and reflect on all that you learned. The next time you explore a new land, you'll be better prepared for the journey. Consider that there were adjustments to both the goal and to the path. An adjustment of the goal is a change to the project description. An adjustment to the path is a change in how the invention ends up being built. Keep this illustration in mind for the remainder of the module. Before I define the project description, keep these questions in mind that help you define your invention. What is it? How is it unique compared to existing solutions? How is it useful to the intended beneficiary? A project description is a focused overview of an invention. The description is short, at most around 10 sentences, and can be easily memorized by team members. It is used to communicate the very basic but important aspects of the invention with others that are not familiar with the project. The description should be modified throughout the project duration in order to accurately reflect the invention as it progresses through the iterative design, build, and test phases. Here is an example project description from the Williamston High School Invent Team from Williamston, Michigan. In 2012, they invented an offshore rip current alert system. Next, I'll describe hypothetical changes to their project description, assuming that their stated goal of reducing the number of drowning deaths has stayed the same. First, embodiment. What is the actual physical form? The final embodiment was a rip current detection buoy. What if instead they decided to use a life jacket? Second, operational means. How does the invention work? The final prototype had a mechanical flow meter to detect rip currents. What if instead it measured weather conditions? Third, environment and context. For what setting is the invention intended? 
What if, instead of the Great Lakes, the team wanted to reduce the number of drowning deaths in recreational pools? Lastly, functional performance. I have highlighted the important specifications that the team identified. These are the product specifications that I will talk about in the next section. While they built and tested their prototypes, they adjusted the values of these targets as they realized what was feasible, what was useful to the beneficiary, and what would set their invention apart from existing solutions. Next, I'll talk about the elevator pitch and product specifications. An elevator pitch is a hypothetical situation that is a thought exercise to pre prepare inventors for unexpected opportunities to share their good work. Imagine that you are entering the elevator on the first floor of your company building. You unexpectedly meet the CEO of the company and she is interested in hearing about what you work on. You realize that this may be an opportunity to get extra recognition and resources for your work, but you only have the duration of the elevator ride to make your pitch. Will you be prepared for this opportunity? Let's break down the situation and talk about how your project description will help you prepare for this. The elevator pitch scenario involves a new and interested audience. You have 30 to 60 seconds, approximately the, the duration of an elevator ride. Your pitch should be actionable. What are the needs you have for your invention project at the moment? All team members should have a version of your project description memorized so that they are prepared for an elevator pitch, regardless of what portion of the invention they are working on. This should be seen as merely the foundation. The delivery of the pitch should be personal and conversational. It shouldn't be perceived by your audience as too formal. Allow time for them to respond with questions. Be a good listener. If they ask a question that you haven't considered, be gracious for their advice. You should practice a lot. First, start with your teammates. Then, find people who do not know about your invention. They will be able to give you feedback on what is not clear. Earlier in this module, I talked about the functional performance of an invention. This is referred to as a specification. The most important specifications will be called the product specifications. A specification identifies what an invention does, but not how. A product specification measures the progress of the invention, and it shows how the invention improves upon existing solutions. There are countless specifications for a given invention. How do you decide what are the key ones to be labeled as the product specifications? First, identify your beneficiaries. Who are the end users of your invention? What other people have a vested interest in the invention? Have you considered their stake in the situation? If so, will you decide to factor in their opinions? Then, acquire the needs of these beneficiaries. What do they need the invention to do in order to solve their problem? Finally, develop the specifications. Each specification identifies what the invention will do in order to meet an identified need. Here are examples from the Williamson High School Invent Team. Each need of the beneficiary has an attribute and specification associated with it. The specification is defined as the metric, unit, and value. The attribute assigns a technical term to the need. The metric defines how to measure the attribute and has an associated scientific unit and value. The value can be a specific number or a range of numbers. Here are the final product specifications for the Williamson High School Invent Team. In summary, your project description is important. First, it facilitates communication within your team and to potential supporters and collaborators. Second, if you know it well, you will be prepared for unexpected opportunities to share your good work, like an elevator pitch scenario. Lastly, it contains the product specifications for your invention, explaining how it is unique compared to existing solutions and useful for your beneficiaries. This helps your team be focused and be specific as you make decisions through the iterative design, build, and test phases. Remember the illustration involving the map and the foreign land. Have a good plan at the beginning, 
but be prepared and flexible enough to change course when you learn and discover new things about your invention. The journey will be challenging and require hard work, but it will also be fun and well worth it. This was produced by the Lemelson MIT program. The Lemelson MIT program celebrates outstanding inventors and inspires young people to pursue creative lives and careers through invention. It is funded by the Lemelson Foundation, based in Portland, Oregon, and administered by the School of Engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts. For more information on Invent Teams and JV Invent Teams, the Youth Initi Invention Grants from the Lemelson MIT program, visit lemelson.mit.edu.